for your performance most recently in scuttling U-4901. All things considered, you're the ideal candidate for this mission. Well, let's get down to brass tacks, shall we? The success of the Allied invasion of Normandy prompted an assassination attempt on the Fuhrer. A cadre of high-ranking Nazi leaders planted a bomb during a meeting. Unfortunately, he survived. He's used this attempt on his life to clean house and solidify his power. Whatever remaining sanity the Nazi leadership possessed has been gutted by Hitler's subsequent arrests and executions. He's appointed new leaders more in tune with his insane ideals. That man is bent on sacrificing every last German citizen rather than accept defeat. We need to stop him cold and do it now. Reports from our allies in France suggest that there's been heavy activity in the Port of Lorient, a manufacturing facility for their deadly U-boats. It was previously run by one of the would-be assassins. Now Hitler has one of his most trusted advisors in charge. Jimmy, we need to know what's going on at that base. We've arranged for you to be dropped on the outskirts of St. Mathieu, where our 101st Division is still encountering some resistance. Intelligence states that a German U-boat is making an unscheduled resupply stop at the seaport there. Our only opportunity to infiltrate this fortified shipyard is by smuggling you aboard this vessel and waiting until it reaches its port. I know it's tight quarters, Jimmy, but for you, familiar territory. We're sending you back to sea, my boy. All right, guys, welcome back to Medal of Honor Frontline. I like to play those. Those briefings are awesome. The voice actor and the voice work is great. Images are authentic. Um, and, of course, I wanted to just keep that in the video. So if you guys didn't know, let's go through the briefing. French resistance operative has spotted a U-boat in the port city of St. Mattau. Uh, after resupplying, we believe this submarine will head back to the docking pens at Lorient. Um, or Lorien, uh, the most protected German U-boat base in France. To gain access to the base at Lorien, you must stow away within the cargo being loaded aboard the U-boat. You'll be dropped just outside St. Mattau. Our operative has hidden a small package beneath a tree near your insert point, point, which will provide you with the further instructions once you're actually aboard the U-4902. Unfortunately, many other roads in the village have been blocked or destroyed, so getting access across the town to the cargo loading gate may be no simple task. Although St. Mattel has undergone heavy allied bombing, the enemy is still entrenched. German forces have even managed to pin down some of our troops from the 101st Division scattered throughout the area. Watch for ambushes and enemy machine gun nests. If your opportunity presents itself, Jimmy, get to high ground and provide some much needed assistance. Best of luck, Lieutenant. All right. Just in case you guys weren't paying attention, that is what he said. Uh, Seaside Stowaway, this mission in particular takes heavy, heavy influence from um, the third act of Saving Private Ryan, so pay attention. If you've seen the film, you will probably make some parallels. All right. That is our information. This is pretty cool here. I remember reading about how originally that car was just about was just supposed to keep going, and then this looks like they they just came through from nowhere. There's a lot of like interesting mistakes in this game that if you read if you read about it, they're they're really cool. Bot seem to be bugged out a little bit. Oh, this music so fucking good, man. And like I said, you'll probably hear me say that about millions of times during this playthrough. Now, like I said, this is an emulator. 
so the performance isn't good it's not optimized for a pc even if you have a beast pc so that's why you'll see it the game go down to like 20 fps all of a sudden Now this, pay attention to this part, this is the area that takes heavy influence from Saving Private Ryan. If this doesn't look familiar to you, then you probably have to see the movie. This part, I actually might die. This part's kind of hard. I'm getting hit. Tank's about to die, hopefully. Oh, that was a bad grenade. I can always get health. Is it down already? I'm gonna throw one more, one more grenade. I think it's down already. I'm gonna waste a grenade, so I think it's down already. I don't remember if there's- oh, there is. It's Y for me, for whatever reason. Take cover. Is that tank down? Seems like it. Over there. Get up. And this, yeah, this, if you're wondering, this is ADS. There's no iron, there's no using sights. I thought, I th think there is in the remastered version for the PS3, but I don't believe there's uh, looking down your sights um, for the other versions of the game. Look up there, does that not look familiar to you? Have you seen Saving Private Ryan? Saving Private Ryan, that is the... And then this building here, this is the, exactly where Corporal, Corporal Upham goes up to uh, help Mellish. Um, and I forgot the, the 501st guy's name. But then he pussies out. This is unbreakable. Hopefully the game isn't louder than my voice. Hopefully I'm talking quite uh, loud here for you. You gotta be careful with ladders in this game. I've fallen down this, yep, just like that, plenty of times, but luckily the fall damage isn't too terrible in this game. Guys. Come on right here. Pick it up. that just in case I need to come back and 
get it. I guess I won't need that, so I'll just take that one then. Now this part's pretty cool. I guess. So now this prisoner no matter how fast you go, he is programmed to die. Even if you kill this guy before the gun goes off, he dies. There's no way to save him. People have tried. It's even been debunked um, by like the developers and everything. You cannot kill him or save him. He dies. And I believe the name of him um, is one of the developers. The name of the soldier. I, I would have to agree to look at that. But if you go to like the Medal of Honor wiki, Medal of Honor Frontline wiki, for each mission, there's like a trivia and um, other things. I think it's called bugs or something um, at the bottom of each page for each campaign, for each mission. And it tells you some, some odd things, and I think they're really cool. This part's pretty awesome, but I want to kill everyone first. One more person. Yep. Beat him to death. Now you can either shoot. Where is it? You can either shoot these, or you can light the rag on fire, which I think is pretty cool. So I'm gonna light the rag on fire here. Boom! And now you can just go straight to the port right through here. Um, I'm, I think I'm gonna fight though, just to kill some people. Hey, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I have to talk about that. That's why I kill these guys. Oh shit. Now one of those mistakes slash trivia things for this map is that um, people don't understand why they've put a machine gun here even though they're firing on their own guys. Um, so that's a little a weird tidbit. I think it's just ammo and health here. I don't know if it affects your score if you finish the campaign uh, with um, full health or not. but. Now, let us get into our box here. Alright. So that was uh, Seaside So Away. I love this. I love it. Alright guys, thank you for joining for this mission. Um, I hope to see you in the next one. I hope to see you for the, the rest of the playthrough. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode, guys. Peace.